What is going on guys, Infinite Oni here, bringing you one of my latest Fallout 4 character builds, the Children of Adam Inquisitor. I've been wanting to do a Children of Adam build for quite some time now, so without further ado, let us get into it. Going into the Commonwealth, you'll have 3 Strength, 4 Perception, 8 Endurance, 1 Charisma, 9 Intelligence, 1 Agility, 2 Luck. The Special Book in Sanctuary will be put into Agility for immediate use of the Commando perk. And now let's go over the build's perks. Medic is the first one that I took so that my stem packs are more effective straight off. With more ranks, it'll take less stem packs to use to heal yourself. Armor I took mainly for Ballistic Weave, but also to improve the secondary mods for the Zealot's Marine Armor. You can upgrade it to the Assault Armor if you wish, but you'll lose the Children of Adam static. If you don't care about that, cool. Also, this can be used to upgrade your power armor in conjunction with science. I didn't have power armor in mind for this build, but if you want to, you can. You'll have nuclear physicists anyway, so your fusion cores will last twice as long. Gun nut is mainly used to improve your automatic weapons. And since we're using automatic weapons, commando is self-explanatory. Science is used to help upgrade the kiloton radium rifle, your primary weapon for this build. The first rank is needed to make it automatic along with gun nut. You'll also need science to upgrade your gamma guns as well, if you plan on using them. Scrounger is another great perk. Using automatic weapons uses more ammo, so you'll want to find more. Plus, whatever ammo you don't use, you can always trade for what you need. Demolition Expert is normally used to improve the explosive damage for grenades and mines. In this case, it's used to improve the explosive damage for weapons like Spray and Pray and the Kiloton Radium Rifle. For more damage, I recommend getting the Explosives Bobblehead over at Sangus Ironworks. You'll need to have the Perception Bobblehead to take this perk. Nuclear Physicist is perfect for this build since it's all about radiation. It'll improve the damage of your radiation weapons, your Gamma Gun, Adam's Judgment, Kiloton Radium Rifle, etc. If you're using Power Armor, your Fusion Cores will last twice as long. If you're going to go with the Power Armor route, I recommend getting the Repair Bobblehead at the Corvega plant near Lexington. Rad Resistant is another obvious choice for this build. Each rank will give you plus 10 radiation resistance, giving you a total of 40, reaching this perk at max. Another obvious choice is Ghoulish. Taking radiation damage will start uh, healing your health. <laughs> you'll heal even more from radiation at the second rank. Now at the third rank, you'll heal even more than that, and you'll have a chance to make some Feral Ghouls friendly. At the fourth rank, your radiation will slowly heal and restore health in the process. You'll need the Endurance Bobblehead over at Poseidon Energy to take this perk. At level 29, you'll invest a point in to Perception in order to take Night Person. The reason I implemented Night Person is sort of a way of receiving Adam's gift. At night, you'll have more intelligence and perception, plus, you know, with more intelligence, you'll gain more XP. Second rank, you'll have night vision when in sneak mode. I think of it as Adam's glow to give you a better vision at night and you can use it to your advantage. It's more of a roleplay perk, but it does come in handy. Nerd Rage is a really useful perk for this build. I think of it as Adam's divine intervention. When you're low on health, Adam has your back basically and will give you the ability to slow time, take less damage, and deal more damage. Use a stem pack right away after it starts to get most, if not all, of your health back, and it'll still be under the effect. This works especially well with automatic weapons. Blade Mess is here to improve the damage of all the weapons we're using. At level 44, you'll put a rank of endurance, making it 10, provided you picked up the endurance ball ahead over Poseidon Energy. You would need that anyway to take Ghoulish. Aqua Boy or Aqua Girl is an optional roleplay perk you can use to your advantage. It eliminates radiation while swimming. Now that we went over the build's perks, let us go over into the gear section. So the first piece of gear that I have is Adam's Bulwark. It's a legendary Zealot's Marine Armor left arm, and the legendary effect is that damage resistance and energy resistance is increased with reds. I've given this the Strengthen mod to reduce limb damage, and I've done this with all the arms and legs. I'm also wearing a Zealot's Marine Armor chest piece with the Dense mod so that I take less explosive damage. Underneath all my armor, I am wearing Military Fatigues. The green matches the uh, rest of the outfit, and I have Ballistic Weave Mark IV under it, even though I could upgrade it to 5, I just like the materials right now. 
Now, as far as your pit boy goes, if you have the creation club, you can add basically whatever. So, like, if you want to go with, like, this green uh, paint job, for example, or a yellow, whatever you want to use to fit the theme, you know, that's cool. It's whatever you decide. And as far as the headgear is concerned, I am wearing the Inquisitor's Cowl. So what the Inquisitor's Cowl does is increases your um, intelligence but with your radiation. So the more radiation damage that you've taken, the higher your intelligence. And of course, like I've mentioned before, the higher your intelligence, the more XP you're going to gain. So that is it as far as the gear section goes. Now let's go now into the weapon section. So the first weapon in my arsenal, and my primary weapon, is the Kiloturn Radium Rifle. Bullets explode on impact doing 15 points of area effect damage. Of course this damage is increased by the Demolition Expert perk and the Explosives Bobblehead. It uses 45 caliber rounds. And I have the hardened automatic receiver, a long ported barrel, recoil compensating stock, large magazine, a reflex sight, and a muzzle brake. My secondary and melee weapon that I use for this build is Adam's Judgment. Its legendary effect is it does plus 100 radiation damage. Now I've increased this using nuclear physicist, making it 220 radiation damage. So, now, I don't have big leagues to improve the base damage of this weapon. However, the radiation damage is good enough. So, and again, this weapon just goes through some enemies pretty easily anyway, which is kind of hilarious. I don't have any upgrades for it, which I don't really think is needed. But I'm sure if I find, like, another sledgehammer with the upgrades, I can just take those off and put those on here. Uh, of course, last but not least, I have a Sharpshooter's Gamma Gun, which comes with the standard grip, a Sharpshooter's Grip, but I don't have any muzzle on it at all. It uses Gamma Rounds, and it does 222 radiation damage. Pretty much your standard uh, Children of Adam character will have a Gamma Gun. I know a lot of times when you run into them in the Commonwealth, you will see where the Gamma Guns are being used, so I figured it's only fitting you have a gamma gun in my arsenal as well. Plus, it's fun to use this thing at times. My character's name was Adam Baum, spelled A-D-A-M-B-A-U-M. I know, sort of an ironic name. He was born in Oak Ridge, Tennessee, a city that has nicknames like the Atomic City and the Secret City. The city was established in 1942 as a production site for the Manhattan Project the massive American, British, and Canadian operation that developed the atomic bomb. His father worked at a nuclear plant, and the mother worked as a hotel receptionist. His parents made him go to church every Sunday, but never wanted to go. He's been agnostic all his life. When Adam was in high school, he worked at his local Red Rocket station as a fuel attendant. Upon graduating, he joined the United States Army. He ended up being stationed over in Boston, which is where he decided to move to. He had praises from the military, not only was Adam known for his combat skills, but his smarts as well. While he was in Boston, he met a beautiful woman named Nora. The two fell in love and got married and even gave birth to a boy named Sean. Things were going pretty well until that fateful day on October 23rd, 2077, when the bombs fell. So as far as factions go, an obvious faction for this build is Detroit or of Adam over in Far Harbor. Siding with them during Far Harbor will grant you several rewards, including Adam's Bulwark and the Inquisitor of Adam perk. Adam's Bulwark is a legendary Zealot Marine armor left arm that increases damage and energy resistance the more radiation damage you've taken. The Inquisitor of Adam perk allows all your weapons to deal more damage the more radiation damage you've taken. As far as the main story goes, you can go Institute or Brotherhood of Steel. I suppose you can go with the Minutemen if you wanted to and turn all the settlements into Children of Adam's settlements. As always folks, I thank you all for watching. If you have any questions or comments about the build, please be sure to hit me up on Twitter at Infinite Oni, or you can just hit me in the comment section and I will get to you as soon as I can. I playtest all my character builds on Twitch at uh, twitch.tv slash infinite oni and the o is a zero i hope you all have a wonderful day take care now and bye bye then